Hi, I'm Alana and this is my story. My dad was my absolute hero. He was my favorite person. I would eat anything he ate. I wanted to be just like him. It was, it was a really sweet time with him. And um, when I turned eight, uh, that's when everything just came crashing down. My dad, um, he was addicted to porn and alcohol and he ended up cheating on my mom um, and had an active affair and finally it all came out. They decided to get a divorce. Obviously it was, it was so devastating. It was just life shattering. My dad ended up moving in with the woman that he cheated on my mom with. Her way of being was, was through sex and being sexy and she had all my dad's attention at this point. And so I remember times where I would come out dressed in all her clothes and say, Dad, I, like, look at me. And he would turn to her and just start making out with her or something. And it was just so devastating. I would like beg for his attention. Um, and I just, I couldn't get it. Right then I was immediately told from that point on that only if you were sexy would you get a man's attention. That's how you were loved as a woman and that's what was important and that's what was beautiful. Didn't feel loved, didn't feel protected, didn't really have anywhere to turn so I had to be tough. I had to put up a bunch of walls and, and um, just like try to protect myself and so I did that through being mean, through feeling loved through sex and other and alcohol. Um, so going into middle school and high school, it was really rough. Like I would just party on the weekends. I started getting into fights at school and I would get suspended. I would be ditching school and smoking weed. And basically like I was just the bad kid. People didn't want their kids hanging out with me. I just started believing that lie that I was bad and I was supposed to be a rebellious teenager. So I went to college with that same brokenness in me and I joined a sorority and you can only imagine with no parents, no rules at all, um, and this constant need to be filled with something to feel good about myself. Um, things just got worse from there. I actually started getting into some serious drugs like cocaine and ecstasy with my friends and roommates. Ultimately, I would wake up in the morning and I still just felt empty and alone and ugly and just not really worth anything. And at one of the lowest points in my life, the boyfriend that had cheated on me, I actually got back with him because I was so desperate to be loved and I knew that he would do it again, but I honestly didn't care. We were out in the desert, we went camping and we, we were doing a bunch of drugs. So I'm looking out over the desert and for the first time ever in my mind, um, I just heard the words, you are not a bad girl, you are good. And there's so much more for you in this life and you don't need, you shouldn't be here out in the desert while all your other friends are studying for finals in college. Um, I was out in the desert doing drugs and just wasting my life. And basically I realized later on that it was God literally speaking into my life. And these are words I'd never heard. No one had ever told me, you're a good girl and you can do good. And there's just so much more for you. I never heard or thought that. And it changed my life. Like I immediately wanted to be off drugs. I wanted to be sober. I wanted to be home. I basically did a 180 and I, I started seeking out counseling. I took myself to a church by myself, just went, start, looked one up, started going on Sundays and I would sit in the front row every time and the pastor would just speak straight into my heart and I would just cry my eyes out. And I, but I didn't really understand like what was going on. I, I knew that God was real because I, he had spoken to me and I'm in church and now I'm, I'm crying all the time and, um, and something's happening in there. And then I went to this college group. These girls just came around me. They were all my age. They did not live the lifestyle that I, I had lived and they just came around me and loved me so well. I'd never been loved like that. They, it didn't matter what I had done or what I was doing. Like they just found like so much joy in me and they had something that I wanted desperately. And I found out later it was joy. That's where I saw the hands of God 
just literally pick me up out of the pit of hell and save my life through the love of those people who loved Jesus. And I found out later that joy, that light, that peace that they had, even in those trials, was Jesus. It was unchanging, unwavering. He was in them. I started just seeking out wisdom. I started reading the Bible. I went to this park and I just laid out a blanket and I just read. I just read the Gospel of Mark from beginning to end. In this story, Jesus heals a woman who had the faith to come and ask him to heal her and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your disease um, in another version it says go in peace and be freed from your suffering honestly I read that and it just pierced my soul like I can't I just was in shock like I felt like I got like hit by something like I was just like Oh my gosh, and, and really that's when the word came alive and Jesus literally just spoke that word straight into my heart and that is when my healing began. My healing started to take place. I got connected through a series of events with this organization called Young Life and I started working with these high school students and through serving, you really get to see his heart for people. Your heart breaks for them. Um, you get to sp experience him in amazing ways and that's what God created. He raises up strong men and women who want to honor and serve each other before themselves, before their own pleasure, before their own desires. Um, it's a very selfless love and it's real and it's out there. And so, yeah. <laughs>